Hello, I'm George Smith, President of Westlake Hardware. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you to the Westlake family and tell you a little about our philosophy on safety. We feel the safety and well-being of each of our associates and customers is of paramount importance. Westlake safety policy is to provide a safe environment for everyone entering our doors. To accomplish this goal, it will require the sincere, conscious efforts of all company associates. We offer a safety and healthcare program to help reduce injuries and illness and provide the greatest degree of care possible to our associates. Our goal is zero accidents and injuries. So with this in mind, please take a few moments to watch our video on Westlake safety. Hey guys, I'm Joe. And I'm Samantha. Working here at Westlake is awesome, but there are some potential hazards that we all need to be aware of. And with these hazards come opportunities for good safety practices. And whether you're a store manager or just working part-time, safety at Westlake Hardware is everyone's business. We're here to show you some of the things to watch out for and how you can do your part to make your store a safer place. Working in a hardware store can keep us busy sometimes. Stocking shelves, helping customers, running a register. With so much going on, it's possible that simple safety practices can slip your mind. But no matter how busy you are, always keep your own personal safety the number one priority. There are times when you may have to deal with glass in one way or another. Now obviously, if glass breaks, it can be dangerous for everyone. When handling a piece of glass larger than 36 inches, get another person to help. When using power tools, make certain that they are equipped with proper safety guards and that you're using the safety equipment correctly. If you have any questions, ask your store manager. Never remove a safety guard from any tool. If you see a tool with a missing guard, don't use it until your manager. Also, associates must be 18 or older to use any power tools. Other basic responsibilities to keep you safe are things like knowing where all of the fire extinguishers and emergency exits are. For a reminder of Westlake safety practices, check out the safety action plan posted in the break room. The first line of defense at any job is your shoes. Proper footwear that fits well and protects your feet is a must. In the service center, activities that you may need to perform include cutting glass, grinding operations, screen repair, and other miscellaneous duties with power tools. Gloves and protective eyewear should be worn at all times in the service center. When storing items on overhead shelves, be certain that the shelf is in good condition. If you have to use a ladder, never stand on the top two rungs. If you feel like you need just a little more height, go get a longer ladder. I know it seems easier to just go up one more step, but the ladder becomes unsafe when the weight is placed on the top two rungs and could easily fall. Don't use the ladder if it has broken rungs, hinges, or legs, or if the rubber safety feet are missing. Customers come in and out of Westlake stores all day, and we want each of them to have a safe and rewarding experience. So let's talk about some simple practices and precautions that ensure our customers' safety and bring them back to us for all of their hardware needs. Customer safety starts right at the front door with the walk-off mat. It ensures that any wet shoes are dry before stepping onto the tile. So make sure that all entrance and exit mats stay dry. If you find a wet one, one that is turned up or has waves from the cleaner, remove the mat and notify your store manager. If the floor does get wet, whether from a spill or from foot traffic, put down a wet floor sign first to alert customers that the area is wet and then mop it up as soon as possible. General housekeeping is important everywhere. As you walk through the store, keep an eye out for any objects on the floor that could pose a hazard. Put any fallen items back in their proper place. And remember, accident prevention is our number one goal. We use pallets at every Westlake store. We also have caution tape at every store for that very reason. Every indoor pallet needs caution tape so that it can be easily seen and we can reduce the chance of an accident. When stock is removed from the corners or end caps, it can pose a trip hazard. Put a caution sign next to the end cap and then restock it as soon as possible. Sharp tools are found in any hardware store. In our store, we go the extra mile to ensure customer safety by making sure that things like axes and saws always have their manufacturer-fitted safety covers. Propane should always be stored and handled properly. 
The tanks need to be secured in the cages at all times. For more about propane, be sure to check out the Blue Rhino Feral Gas Safety Video. Well, thank you very much. Different times of the year bring about different safety needs at Westlake stores. In the spring, when watering plants, be sure to keep the hose out of the way of foot traffic and use a wet surface sign to notify customers of a potential hazard. In the fall, when the Christmas trees go up, it is important to remove and throw away all of the netting when the trees come in. Any tree netting or wrappings that get left on the ground become instant trip and fall hazards. People actually have been hurt by branches that have come off a tree and landed in a walkway. So be sure to trim or remove any part of the tree that is in the way of foot traffic and discard it in a trash can. As an employee of Westlake, you'll often need to lift different things, maybe a bag of soil or various tools. Whatever the case, the first rule is common sense. You know what you can and can't handle, and if you think it might be too heavy, then it probably is. So never attempt a risky lift. We're going to show you how injuries caused by improper lifting are completely preventable, if you know what you're doing. Stretching before every shift is a great way to stay limber and prepare yourself for your day. Check out the Retail Athletes Flexibility Program in the break room for more information about stretching. The squat lift is a simple thing. We've all heard, lift with your legs and not with your back. Well, there's a reason we've all heard that. Because it's true. It works. Just bend at the knees and keep your back straight. Hold the load as close to your body as possible and stand from the squat position. Use the squat lift for all lifts. For things over 35 pounds, use your best judgment as to whether to use the squat lift or a two-wheel dolly, or get another associate and do a team lift. Objects that are a little heavier may require a pallet jack. If you don't know how to operate a pallet jack, ask your store manager. Forklifts should only be operated by someone who has completed forklift training. A really heavy load will require you to ask a forklift operator for help. We sell a lot of bagged goods at Westlake Hardware. Dirt, concrete, and fertilizer are usually stacked on pallets outside the store. Some of these bags can get pretty heavy. For outdoor goods, keep a stack of empty pallets under them. All bagged goods over 50 pounds need to have four pallets under them. That way, you don't have to bend all the way over to lift them, and your back will thank you. This applies to outside pallets only. In the store, pallets should never be stacked. Customers shouldn't have to work when they come into our stores. Helping them to their car is a great way to make sure they have a good experience. Okay, working at a hardware store entails certain activities that are just part of daily life, like cutting. We often cut keys, glass, wood, and use box cutters. Some of these things may seem a little daunting at first, but really, there's little danger if you follow the proper procedure. No matter what it is that you're cutting open, always remember to cut away from yourself and not towards your body. Accidental cuts are actually the number one cause of employee injuries. Also, always keep a sharp blade in your box cutter. A dull blade can get hung up easily, and when you pull it free, it can pop out and cut a hand or finger. Using the correct knife is a must. If there's not one near, don't try to use your keys or some other object. Go get a safety knife. But safety knives should not be used to remove bin tags. Ask your manager about a bin label peeler. Now, let's talk keys. We cut keys for our customers so often that it can become routine, and sometimes we forget the key cutting can be dangerous. Even if you're in a hurry, always put the key guard down. Small metal shavings can fly off and put out an eye. So stay safe, use the key guard, and save your eyes. Safety glasses are essential to protecting your eyes from flying splinters when cutting wood. And always wear heavy gloves to protect those hands and fingers. Now we've shown you how to be safe. But in the event that an accident should happen, tell your store manager immediately, even if the accident seems minor. And proper reporting of accidents is just one more way to keep us all a little safer. So if you do need to report an accident, store managers have the proper accident forms on the store's network file. So that's Westlake's safety philosophy in a nutshell. Seems like a lot to take in all at once. It is quite a bit. So let's just take a few minutes and go over what we've learned.